So I'm hiking in the Cuyamaca Rancho State Park today, and it's been pretty nice. It's hot, but when you get up on the hills, it's get a little bit breezier, breezier. Um, but I've been kind of going up this hill for a while. It's not a huge hill, just a little bit of a hill. It's very dry out. And I think, judging by kind of the looks of stuff up here, I'll be entering Africa in the next, you know, 500 feet, it looks like. The African tundra, where I expect to see some zebra, bears, well, not bears, zebra, uh, antelope. What else? Some monkeys, things like that. I'll show you when I get there. All right, here's what I meant by the African tundra. But I haven't seen any like buffalo or cheetahs, gazelle, or anything like that out here. It is pretty though. There could be some snakes out there, but I'm not gonna go check. I bet they're just fine. Okay, this trail is called the Dyer Spring Trail, and here's why. This is the Dyer Spring right here. See, it's right there. There's a little spigot filling her up. And then, uh, you know, you'd want to filter that. It's actually clear, but there's a lot of stuff floating in it. But anyway, uh, there's like an intersection here and I don't know which way to go, so I gotta figure that out. Okay, so I wanted to show you this new pack I got. It's a Gossamer Gear Vagabond Trail. Like a day pack. Um, and this rock hurting my butt. There we go. Anyway, this is the Vagabond Trail. Gossamer Gear Day Pack. Um, I wanted to get a new day pack. Um, I had an Osprey uh, Daylight just for day hikes and stuff, but it was kind of you put a little bit of weight in it and it started to hurt your shoulders and just wasn't very comfortable. So I wanted something just a little bit girthier. It's not ultra light by any means. This thing weighs 18 and a half pounds empty. Um, it holds 23 liters. Very, very comfortable. I really like it. Um, so let's look at what kind of stuff it's got on it. So in the front, it's got a it's got a lot of the features that you like on your backpacking pack too. That's what I like about it. It's got a big old front meshy pocket. And in here I got, what do I have in here? An app, a little baby apple. And I have, ooh, ooh, um, a camera lens, my telephoto, my zoom, zoom telephoto. I got, ooh, my headphones, in case I wanna listen to music and a fruit and vegetable pouch. Headphones. Um, some orange peel. We will not leave that here. Um, granola bar. Basically, I put my snacks in the front. Um, it's got, right above that, it's got a little zipper for your stuff you don't want to lose, keys, things like that, and it's got a thing here to hook your keys to or whatever if you want to do that. Um, and I didn't put anything in there. That's good, that's nice. Okay, it's got uh, compression straps on the side. So if you got a pretty heavy load or you got a lot of stuff in here, you can squish it down. Um, I have not even touched those. So they're like squished down all the way and I don't have very much stuff in here. Um, of course, you got good deep side water bottle pockets. I got a smart water bottle here. It's almost empty. Um, you can, you know, lashing loops around the outside. Um, water bottle pocket on this side. Um, on the back got just like these like support gizmos here and it lets you like where your spine goes through a little bit of air in there 
makes it a little more comfortable, some padding. It's nice. Um, on the shoulder straps, we've got these Gossamer Gear typical uh, stretchy pockets that my cell phone fits great into right here. This is an S10, Galaxy S10, and it fits in there nice. Um, and the straps are plenty wide. I don't know how what those, those have got to be like two and a half, three inches. They're huge, um, which is great on your shoulders. I like that. It makes it a little bit more area for sweat, but um, I like it because it's just more comfortable. And I've got my um, my camera thing on here, which is being used to shoot this film right now, um, which is my uh, quick release camera holder. What the, oh, it's a Peak Designs. That's what it's called. The Peak Designs camera holder. Um, or you can put anything on there that screws into that screw, that quarter 20 screw. Okay, and we got the standard, where is it? Oh, the uh, standard sternum strap. That's what we want. We got that on there. No whistle, no whistle there. Um, okay, let's flip it around again. Um, on the top, it's got like this double handle thing, um, which kind of makes it look like a grocery bag. But when you reach down and grab your pack off the ground or wherever, man, it's, it's pretty handy, I like it. So I'm good with that. We always kind of had one on the back, you know, like on the back but this one's got two, so it makes it a nice handle. You could even use this as a grocery bag if you wanted to. This is like do anything, go anything, go anywhere, grab it, go. Okay, on the top, this part's a little weird. This part, I gotta tell you, is a little bit weird. Um, it's got like, the zipper is like recessed down in the top, so when you lift it up, so I can show you. When you lift it up, it kinda, it kinda makes like a, like, a, like a sack on the top. So I imagine if you were wearing this in the rain, Rainwater would sit in here, would sit in here on the zipper. Now I think the zipper's waterproof. It looks like it is, pretty waterproof. Um, so I think water would kind of sit in there and like form a little bucket. So I'm not really sure why they did that, but if you filled it full of stuff enough, it would push up, and then you wouldn't have that problem. So inside this 23 liter pack, um, I got a bandana. Um, I got my sun shirt. Um, Nuts and snacks. I brought a water filter because I knew there was a spring on this trail and I didn't know if I was going to run out of water or not. I haven't been here in a long time, so I forgot. Um, I got some protein bites. Jeez, I brought a lot of food. Um, oh, I got my buff. Never leave home without it. I have, ooh, a little orange and another little baby apple. Okay. It also has a hydration sleeve inside. Um, let's see if it has a hydration port. I don't think it does. I do not see a hydration port on this. So I figure you just stick it over the, through the zipper, but I don't use a bladder anyway. So anyway, I stick my water bottles, extra water bottles inside the little pouch inside. Right in there. There's a little extra pouch that you cannot see. But anyway, hey, um, so far so good. It's been really comfortable. I like it. I'm gonna use this for my day, my day hikes. Um, and that's the Gossamer Gear Vagabond. Uh, also, it's kind of dirt. Oh, ooh, 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 I forgot. There's another zipper inside for like your wallet and your car keys. What else is in here? Oh, and extra camera batteries. So that's down inside. I'm putting those back in there right now before I lose them in the, in the woods. We don't want to do that. Anyway, yeah, like this thing's pretty durable. It's not ultralight, like I said. It's got like a, like a plastic uh, frame sheet in there just to give it a little bit of rigidity. All right, so that is it. Vagabond uh, Trail. Vagabond Trail. They've got a few different other Vagabond. Um, they've got a Vagabond Packable, which is cool. It's super much more lighter and you can ball it up and stick it inside your, your backpacking pack or whatever. Um, that makes it more, uh, more packable for like a, like a peak bagging type thing. Anyway, I like it so far. So good. Uh, I'm going to go eat something out of this pile of food and then head back to the truck. All right. We'll see you later. Hey, something else I want to tell you this, uh, Gossamer gear pack is made out of a 100D uh, ripstop. It's pretty durable. It's very thick. Um, and also, it'll hold about 15 to 20 pounds. Because I was reading the thing, because I forgot to tell you, 
and I was reading the thing um, as I was walking and I thought, well, I'll just tell you now. So that's what you get. If I think of anything else, I'll tell you as I'm walking back to the truck. You know, I was in the shade, now I'm in the heat. That sucks. But yeah, also, they have another one. They have the Vagabond Jet, which is kind of just like this one, but it's um, like girthier for like travel and business, things like that. I think you can get a laptop in there. It's a little bit bigger. Ooh. So they got the Vagabond Jet, they got the Vagabond Trail, and they got the Vagabond Packable, which crumps up into a little ball. And then of course they got like um, some more minimalist packs. Um, go check it out. Lost my gear. It kind of turned into one of my favorite uh, gear companies that has a lot of stuff because I got my, my Gossamer Gear 110, which I really love. I also have my Gossamer Gear Twin Tarp, which I really like, but um, I don't have a lot of... I like it. I like it. I like the way it sets up. It's so easy. It's tiny. Um, I've only used it in fair weather, so I don't know what would happen if I was like in the snow and stuff. So, ooh, that's my hand. So I don't know what would happen if I was like in the snow and stuff, um, or the rain, really bad rain, because there's no ends on it. All right, so that was my show and tell review of the uh, Gossamer Gear Vagabond Trail, Vagabond Trail Day Pack. Um, and I should point out that no one paid me to tell you about this backpack. I didn't get it for free. I bought it with my own money, of course, right? In fact, I will probably get some kind of email or notification um, from Gossamer Gear asking me to take the video down because it's embarrassing to them. So sorry guys about that.